Guys, here we go. Final Dreams game one. Ah. Now, that's interesting. Axe being taken here. Like, this is a counter pick that you usually see from Axe. I feel like West Balls is super confident on this stage. Must um, be. Mainly because he feels like he's the best shield dropper in existence. That's what he was telling me at dinner on uh, Thursday night. He said, nobody can shield drop better than me. Oof. And that's a super important skill to have on this stage. Um, but if you're going to pick one guy who might actually be better at shield dropping than him, it would be Axe. That's what I was about yeah. to say, dude. <laughs> I mean, there's an old YouTube video of, of Axe teaching people how to shield drop. And it was funny because it, it, it was old and yet not too many people applied it. But as time progressed, people finally noticed the benefits of using shield drops, and now more and more top players are using it. Even Mango recently at Genesis 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He definitely, his shield drops were super clean. Yep. Um, how old is that video that, that Axe made? It's like 2013? I wonder. I Maybe probably it. might even be older. Really? That's crazy. I have to check. Maybe 2013. Yeah. That's still kind of old, right? Because we're oh, 2016. Yeah. It definitely is. That's yeah. over two years now. We'll double check. Oh, he has no jump? What? Wow, oh, okay. Axe mistimes the forward smash, though. Allowing West Balls back to stage. I feel like these guys have played a lot over the last year as well. They always seem to end up against one another. Yeah, and because of that, these guys are more so playing each other, but not the matchup per se, right? They're yeah, playing, but to, to an extent. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. Ooh, really high side beat, and that was smart by West Balls. Knowing how great Axe's punish, um, edge guard game is with Pikachu. Yeah, I mean, Axe has done a lot of... Uh, ooh, charge the up smash. Axe has gone uh, the up B to ledge like two, three times in a row now. So West Ball sees that. He's like, okay, I can just full hop side B over that. And you can't quite cover it in time. Ooh. Oh, wow. Great DI. Ooh, that that was... looks like almost a misinput. Yeah. Definitely messed up the angle there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, look at that. West Ball's crazy shine. Basically anti airing with the shine, you know, with that invincibility. He it's not just, a bad idea. He's just one of the characters he can do that to because he's got such uh, a lack of disjoint on his hitboxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that up air to downer was nasty. Beautiful shine stall, but that still might be it. Oh, nice. Okay. Axe was definitely reading the side B, but the early up B allows him to just barely escape that edge guard. Ooh, nice combo. Now, I really like how West Balls has been doing a lot of dare in place to just stop Axe's aggression. But regardless, Axe, he doesn't let up. If he sees West Balls even go for a misspaced laser, he'll charge right in there. Yeah. No fear. There it is. West Balls again Ooh. just cutting off Axe. Yeah, and that was good respect, too. He he hit the, the down air on shield, and he realized immediately and just blocked afterwards. Didn't go for another follow-up. Oh, my God. That up air was nice. So he didn't get caught by Axe's uh, drop, uh, shield drop up here. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Making sure to cover the multiple options right there. As far as uh, attacking place. Mm -hmm. Don't quite get it. Ooh, back throw. Okay. I think that might have been a couple missed inputs in a row from Axe right there. He's the back throw on accident, and then out of up throw, doesn't get the dashing up smash. What are these up smashes? <laughs> this is not Fox, but he is putting... Ooh, ooh that's ooh. so fast! Oh, is he going to get it? No, okay. The shorten mix up. I love when uh, they go high. Full high. Oh, that's going to be it. Tech. The tech? Yes, of course. Oh, that's my God, that angle. Insane stuff, and... Oh, okay. He's living. Oh, he's that not living. West balls. Wow. Gosh. West... Bausch. Wesh Bausch. <laughs> that play was so Look at him. good. <laughs> These cheese He's going nuts too. right now, dude. <laughs> He's like, dude, I survived all of that through hell and back, looking like Kratos and God of War, just came back from Hades and won. Wow. Immediately turns around with that Shine Bear, too, to uh, close out the first game. Jeez. God, it was the tech, and then it was the insane angle he took mm -hmm. afterwards, too. And and don't forget, there. the high shorten, because he's been doing a lot of high recoveries, even, like, committing to the full length That's of true. the Phantasm. And that was the first time that he had gone for the high short. Yes. Yeah, I love that mix-up. It's a great mix-up. Wow. Especially if you've already conditioned them Whoa. to think that they're... Okay, I think this is going to be a really exciting set for sure.
Kind of surprised that uh, Axe went straight to FD as his first counter pick too. I know this is like Pikachu's like sickest counter pick, right? Yeah. But in the past, Axe has actually tended to go to like um, different like counter pick stages before using FD because he wants to keep that as like his ace. Ace, ace at home. Uh, the sleeve. Oh, okay. Or the sleeve, yeah. Yeah. Because we got different versions of the same uh, <laughs> same joke. So I'm back here. Oh. Okay. So this time, looks like he's just trying to edge guard. That's a forward smash. Nice. Yep. Perfect uh, distance too by West Walls. Oh, oh, yo, really that was pretty good. Smash the eye actually. And by I like uh, how. Max. Right. I was gonna mention too the jabs from Max. He, it looked like he, you know, recognized that since West Walls is in the middle of the stage, don't just overly commit with it. <laughs> and the crowd's not even going A. No, <laughs> nobody's hyped for this right now. They reserved that for, uh, I nice. guess, Marth. Yeah. And it's so painful once a space animal gets grabbed on this stage. Oh yeah. But that's it's not easy. It's no no uh, easy task to try to get a grab against, especially West Ball's Falco. Ooh, hold on. Oof. Kind of surprised you didn't get hit by that up B. And also have to nice no, get yep. cancel solid. And earlier West Ball's went for a short hop laser and perfectly just short hopped over it, which is like the benefit um, to going for the low lasers, right? You put it out there, the opponent's like, oh, I could just partial. And it's like, no, I'm still coming. Because you could just short hop over it. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, I like the way West Ball's is playing this a lot. Oh, hold on. Yeah, he'll get a grab off that. Great idea, I guess, to try to get out. He didn't really have many options. Whoa, did he just shine out of the chain grab? That's crazy. Woo. Oh, my God. West Ball's might go up two stocks right here. And I wonder if, like, with Slight DI, you can probably use that. Right? Slight DI and then just shine out? I Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, uh, the thing I is, with Pikachu's up throw, is even at higher percentages, it doesn't ever send them that high, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, with Mars up throw, when you get to, like, more of the mid percentages, you, you see space animals. Oh, beautiful up there. You see space animals able to shine out a little bit. Yeah, um, I'm definitely going to have to ask as well as I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Axe. Axe probably knows better than anybody about the Pikachu chain grab. I like these shine jabs. Ooh. Just pushing Axe all the way to the edge. Yeah. There nice. it is. There yep. we go. Jab back air. Really smart. That's scary. That's a scary thing too, because you're ahead the whole game and then stocks are even. And you're against Pikachu, so he just needs that one grab, right? And that'll be it. Watch. Just like this. Alright, let's see if he can shine out again. Yeah, see I think I think I see him going for the slight that you mentioned. Yeah. Okay, that was full DI. Oh, jab reset. Up throw up smash, evens it up. Oh. Using that wave dash out of shield. And it's so good when you're dealing with lasers, right? Because you could throw off your opponent's spacing with their attacks. Yeah. Falco's got, you know, great ground control, but he's not the fastest character. So um, there's plenty of time between laser hitting and him actually, you know, getting on your shield. Plenty of time for you to mix that up. Oh my god, the little dash back grabs oh, from no. uh, Axe. Well jump. Yup, of oh, course. Yeah. Dude, Axe waited too. He tried to cover it. He's got a grab. This could be it. Uh, no slight DI is going to save him. No. Oh, wait oh. a second. Oh Ooh. my god. He converts it even off stage into the uppy. <laughs> Axe just persevering despite being down almost that whole game. That's the power of FD, man. You just keep the stocks even. You keep the stocks close and there's always a chance for you to take the game. One to one. Yep, and here's a stage which some Falco players may tell me is their favorite stage Whoa. with Falco. They might even think it's Falco's best stage. What would you say? Uh, it, it's matchup dependent. I think it's an amazing Falco stage yeah. overall. Ooh, that great short again. But um, yeah, I think in this matchup definitely this is probably one of Falco's better stages to counter pick. I mean, one of the things about Pikachu is his amazing recovery. So you kind of negate that if you're killing him a little earlier. Oh, and West Ball's, for the first time in a while, opting for just dare to back air. Usually you see the shine back air, right? But this guy's like, I know I'm going to get this KO. <laughs> and the crazy thing, too, is that there are a lot of times opponents may try to smash the eye to shine, especially Axe, right? Who dabbles in Falco himself. So right. That was a good mix-up on West Ball's part. Yeah, I mean, it's often questioned by commentators when they're watching West Ball's why he goes for the shine back air sometimes, and he could just back air for the KO. 
So it's good to see him actually go for this straight up, like, guaranteed kill move. Oh my god, yo Tina! He's what? Gee. Oh, that was so sick. The down air in the middle of that combo is what extended it so effectively. That was disgusting. X. <laughs> West ball's just a little bit too far, that crouch cancel. <laughs> he definitely waited a while too, like, like ah, I guess I'll go for it anyway, maybe a little bit. Just throwing out smash attacks. Nice, good run up shield. Oh, here come the jabs again. Yeah. Noticing that acts as a high percent. Dude, West Balls is controlling so well. Oh my god, but he just doesn't respect the uh, wave land onto platform as nearly as much as he could. Oh, it takes 60% for it. Probably more like 40. He had a little bit of damage on him already. Oh, sick dash attack just to get that grab. Yeah. It was Great almost that. after it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Lucky that reversed. <laughs> Nice manage to grab the edge of time, and... Uh, Alright, yeah. Best you can do is just force your opponent to make one more hit, you know? Alright. This could be big, as Falco can't just KO Pikachu off the top. We haven't seen that yet. Oh, I was gonna say, we haven't seen that yet. You uh, called it, man. I mean, I'm a psychic, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were way ahead of the game right there. Okay, last stock. Who's gonna go up 2-1 right here? Oh, he gets the grab. Oh, he missed the ledge cancel. I but think that actually kind of messed Axe up because he tried to cover the edge cancel ah, a little early. Yeah, that's right. I don't think he did it on purpose, but. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ooh. Okay, I like that DI off of the platform. He needed that. Yeah, that especially because it cancels your. Uh, that's gonna be it. Yeah. And especially because it cancels your 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 hit stun. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're immediately out of hit stun if you edge cancel that. Axe dropping the first game and then clutching out two close ones in a row. Less balls, it's now on him to make the comeback on his counter pick. It goes right back. I mean, that's what's his counter pick to begin with, so. So why not even go back? Right, yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. I love that up tilt. And I love the delays with Axe's recovery, you know? Because West Balls always puts these moves out there. Trying to intercept. Dude, you see that back recovers, here? Right? That shield drop platform cancels so fast. Ugh. It's that new West Ball stuff. He does that so consistently now. Had to get off as the invincibility was wearing off. Which, you know, it'd probably be cool to see him opt for a Firefox stall. You know, just to refresh invincibility. Yeah, that's true. It's one thing you don't see too many of the Falco mains you do. No, I mean, Falco can do it fully invincible just like Fox. Yep. It's a little bit different. It's still there. Whoa, that grab is nutty. Ooh, Axe actually breaking out of the combo. I thought that was another dare. Yeah, so did I. I'm not quite sure how he's able to get out of that hit from so quickly. I guess he's a pretty low percentage still. Uh-huh. Oh, beautiful F tilt. Yep, just to set up for the edge guard, force Axe on stage as he was occupying the edge. Quite a, I really liked how confident that grab was too. He just yep. went right in there. Yep, he didn't even bother. Oh, nice wait. Nice, the retreating auto cancel back air. Yeah, a little bit of fancy movement from West Balls right there too. Yeah, I'm actually happy seeing West Balls use that. You know, up tilt, back air, those are really good moves to just stop Pikachu's aggression. Yeah. The thing is, they're both uh, just strong moves, excellent disjoint, and very fast. It's like the three things that just deal with Pikachu so well because he's fast so you have to be fast to deal with him. He has no disjoint himself so you can hit him. Yep. And uh, back air especially can lead into those KOs that are otherwise hard to get. Ooh, okay, nice. I suppose he's done really good at crouch canceling on a lot of the things throughout this game. Oh, unfortunate for Axe that that trades. Or clanks, I should say. Uh-huh. Oh, flub right there by West Balls. Whoa. He's been so aggressive on these edge guards. He's gonna pay for it if he's not careful. Nice. Right there, Axe is just way too deep into the stage. Oh my god, I can't believe he's. Oh, oh. the trade! West Balls will take that one at 170. This is one of the things about Fire or, uh, Firebird. Is he trying to shine out of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, there wasn't really a lot he could do. I thought he was. In my, I, yeah, I guess he was just trying to push him. Oh, like away towards the center, right? Yeah. And then after that, DI back towards the edge. That's the best, the best way to get out of it. Yeah. You take extra percentage for it, but 
you're not forced off the ledge, you're forced onto the ledge. Off yeah. the stage, but onto the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, West Balls. Nice back air, too. <laughs> nice back air. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, I took a poll on my Twitter the other day. That's my new catchphrase. Nice backer? Yeah, anytime I say nice backer, it's not because I'm just mindlessly filling dead air. <laughs> it's, you're I'm just, just uh, that's saying my catchphrase. So. I respect <laughs> it. I mean, I guess they might as well just change the picture of that Twitter to webs. Did you see it changed? It's changed? It's tough now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. That is insane. Shoutouts to add SSB commentator. That guy's about to just, like, rotate through all the casters. <laughs> you know what? I'm honored that he used my picture in the past. <laughs> yeah. Well, the one he used of you is so iconic, too. It's, it's a perfect picture. Yeah, dude, that was Mango Force Locking Weapon at Yo. Apex 2014. 14. That was a sick Apex. Ridiculous. Star Spangled Banner, dude. <laughs> but yeah, we are back. Game 5! Exciting stuff here. Oh, intro layer. No one but that the platforms are here, yeah. Right, he's just kind of going for, like, alright, I gotta follow this up however I can. Especially because West Ball's kind of DI, so it was ambiguous whether or not he was actually going on the platform. Ooh, the reverse. Oh, man, that's actually going to be it. The amount of knockback on that Thunder is nothing to sneeze at. It actually knocks you pretty far back. Interrupts recoveries pretty effectively. There it is. So many crouch cancels. And rightly so, you know. Pikachu's a character that can't quite deal with it that well. Oh my oh, god! He's up airs. He had the he got the like right perfect hit on the hitbox. Into, exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. God, West Ball's really struggling to find his feet right now. That is actually gonna be a second stock. Charges the F smash. Dude, how's he gonna adjust? Well, he's gonna take this stock first. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so dangerous. He double jumped into that too. That could have been it. Nice back air. God. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hearing it every time. <laughs> I believe, you now. I believe you now. I believe you. It's your catchphrase, dude. <laughs> Everyone has one. Crap. <laughs> it's okay. Ooh, okay. All right. Oh, it looked like Axe didn't expect the attack in place there. What? Oh my god, these up airs. The Ooh. West Ball's trying to really mix up the down air. He did a little mini approach one, then a retreating one. Oh, West Ball's listening to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, all right. The change. Good DI on that jab from Max. Not on the second one, though. Nice. Max still keeping the pressure on. Oh, if he still had shield, I would have expected a uh, shield drop back air. Probably. Yeah, definitely. Balls. Trying his best to keep it even, but it's so tough. At 90% as Falco gets a Pikachu. He's got to get something started. Rack up as much percentage as he can. Oh my god! Let's go. Oh man. Okay, he's still trying to keep up this aggression. Here comes the edge guard. Yeah, that's just going to be it. Regular roll and West Balls on his winner's stock. Did do a nice job of racking up 71%, though, so he can definitely even it up, bring it to a last stock situation. Oh, grabbed him out of the startup of down smash. Okay. Oh, not that time, though. That's right. Great DI on the platform. It's able to get out. Has a jolt out there, too, just to tell West Balls, get away from the yeah, edge. Let's not come even, back. He's not even messing with those jolts. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Let's see. A back air? No. Ooh, goes for a down air out of the jab instead of back air. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Right. First time we've seen him do that, too. The crash cancel down tilt. Only taking 30%. Oh, oh, great anti-air. Hold on. Ooh, Axe. He just can't find his way back in right now. West Ball is actually at a huge lead right now. Oh, I think he's going to go for the second downer. <gasps> back air. Again? Look at the spacing. Great spacing. Just right outside the range. Oh, that was a shot at shield. Okay, West yeah. Ball goes for it this time. Oh, oh. hold on. Okay. Axe's turn. No. Another up air. He gets it. Okay. Brings it all the way back. West Balls advances the winner's semis where he will face H box. Axe drops down where he has to play one more set to try to make top eight of loser's side. I look at that Neptune on the bottom right waiting to cast Smash 4. Yeah. Should be coming up soon right after we wrap up Melee. Yeah. Drop it down to a top eight for today.
But yeah, definitely congratulations to West Balls. All right, so I guess you got your wish, dude. Yeah. You wanted to see West Balls win, and it was a fun match to watch, a really good set, down to game five. That's what I wanted more than anything else, was yeah. a good set. Yeah, last stock, game five. Both of them played really well. Axe's punish game was nuts, but West Balls kind of turned it on for those last two stocks, as he is wont to do. <laughs> right? And it was crazy. Yeah. Like, during the last two stocks, uh, act, well, during the last stock scenario for both of these players, I think Axe had, what, two stocks? West Balls had one, right? Was it? Yeah, I think it was one. Yeah, and... Yeah. Even while West Ball still had one stock, knowing how Falco just has so many good tools to beat Pikachu, I didn't feel like it was out of West Ball's reach. Yeah, you know? not by any means. Yeah. yeah, he was at like a scary amount of percentage, but not like an almost impossible to come back percentage. You know what I mean? He's yeah. at like mid. I don't know. I'm gonna guess an exact number, but um, maybe 40 or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is too, West Ball's was doing a, a, an amazing job at just avoiding a lot of Axe's edge guards, right? He has yeah. these crazy tail spike setups. Yeah, that's and, true. Like, could you guys actually count the amount of times that West Balls did get edge guarded off stage? West Balls recovered so effectively. Yeah. Especially to win that first game, like that sequence he had at the end. Man. And it's so clutch. It's so clutch. You have to be able to do that against Pikachu because he has so many tools to shut down uh, a space animal once they're off stage. It's true, man. Because there are a lot of times you see Axe, he'll play against somebody who. Probably might be beating him in the neutral, but the moment he gets that grab,